What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So, we're going to be making another sim. But this one I actually made for Basari Simmer because she wanted more evil sims in her. It's in my gallery if any of you want it. I did not use any mods even though it's under modded for some reason. So, I completely stripped her face and everything. And her eyebrows, though I don't stick with these once they change after that. Her eyes are the next things that change. I made her, after looking at her, I was like, you know, don't have any Asian sim sims in my gallery. I'll make an Asian sim. See, the eyebrows changed again. Next thing is you want to be her face. I made it more angular and a little, her cheekbones a little higher. I did that. And I think I changed her lips a little to make them a little bigger and you know, more full. I go in and with a little bit more small details to her face just to try to get them evened out. Her chin, I'm going to make it a little longer. And then you're going to just fix up on her face a little bit more. Just small details, nothing too big. Next off, I'm going to go back to her eyes, straighten them up a little. And I kept looking at her eyebrows and like, I don't like them. <laughs> So I'm going to later on go back to change her eyebrows. Her ears are, I would think I went with like a medium one where they stick out a little but they're still pretty small. And then I go to her nose, I change that too, it's a little higher up, more of a cutesy face, I'm trying to go with that. But her face is kind of, I guess, elegant in a way. I didn't use any mods because I know a lot of people, I don't put a mod list out there. And I don't want a lot of people to wonder, oh, I can't use this because I don't have this specific thing. I did, I do have all of the packs though. So most of the stuff is like a combination of most packs. But they'll come up later. She does have a description on her. In this video, I did not put a description on her because I couldn't come up with one. But she has a description on her in the gallery. And still going through with these small changes. You can't see much. I don't think they, they did a lot. But I thought they did when I was making the character. I got rid of her makeup just to see what what it would be about or how it would affect how it looked. I didn't technically know she had lipstick on until after I took it off. Her eyebrows, they changed here, but they're probably going to change again. And I have some modded hairstyles, you see. I just wanted to see how it would look on her, one of them. And then this was the hairstyle that she now has. Her outfit later on changes. Well, right now. And... Just trying to get rid of all of the useless stuff that will never be on her again. And then I tried to go for, I guess, I was looking at a picture. And I was thinking, in the picture I was looking at was a model stock photo. And I was like, okay, well, this looks pretty. I want to see how this would look on her. And they had, like, close to the exact same makeup type on her that the model had on her in The sim. So I went and looked at it. And then I was like, it's not real life. Um it's not lifelike like somebody would walk around with this kind of makeup like this so I went with more of like a simple makeup then I went through all the shirts I, I went through almost every color of this because I really like this shirt and I was using some of the um, mods I like this outfit like at first when I did it I didn't like it like the orange shirt with the dog and that sweater I didn't like it when I first put it on her but then it started to look cute then I thought of going for a jean outfit, but then I didn't like it. And then I saw this sweater, and I was like, that's so cute. So I went with like a beige skirt, and then I went with some flats, <laughs> normal flats that I saw. I was going to put her on some heels, but then I was like, that just doesn't look right. And then this is her now daily outfit. Next up, we're going to pick her thing. She's a public enemy. She's lazy. She's evil. I went with mean at first, but now she's evil. And she's also, what is it, a genius? Uh, DZ Wong. I was kind of hesitant on the lazy thing. I was going to put um, Hey Children because I um I was recommended to me actually while I was making this film, and I was like, okay, that would be a good idea. But then the person was like, no, never mind. 
it's um that would just make her uncomfortable around children. So we went back with Lacey. Next up, her hairstyle for formal is going to be like long and down. I like this when I was making my um, Buster to adjust it sim. I really like this outfit. And I was like, okay, I'm going to use this on a sim when I get a chance. And I'm looking at her shoes and I think I know why she's under modded now. Um, it seems her shoes are mods. <laughs> so I am so sorry for that. You're probably going to have to put in mods. I mean, a specific type of shoe whenever you go for that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> or I could try to find the mod in my on the Sims resource and try to get it to you. Either one of that. In this, I did try to go for a model look, but I'm not really good with like makeup and how it goes together. So I went with like an orange on her eyes and then I think a red or an orange lip. Because you like, if you... See, it was like a darker orange. And I thought it looked good. But then that could be me. And I could have just made her look really bad. And I can all I guess I could always change her if I don't like her later. <laughs> and I went with a pulled back style for this. I wanted to I don't think that's a mod either. I hope it's not a mod. You know, after this video I'm gonna go back and change look at my sim. Ah. But and I went back to her daily outfit, and this is, I think, where I went to go. No, no, this isn't it. Next, I go to her sleep outfit. I wanted, I didn't really have an idea of what, so I went for like a college outfit, kind of like if you're lounging around. I went with like the jogger pants, and then I changed the whole outfit ensemble to like a red. And blue, I mean red and gray. But I kind of like the first one better because it just brings more colors to the table. And then I went back to make sure everything was right. And then I saw that her hairstyle was kind of the same. And now I'm looking at. And then I keep going back to change her hairstyles to make sure nothing's the same. I really like those pants because I thought it looked cool. But then I'm like, okay. It kind of gives me the 90 vibes because you know, like, whenever in the 90s, I saw like many, like, I saw what is it, TLC? I think that they had this outfit idea where like they wore the boxers um, in the in their pants and it kind of went together and it looked really nice. And then I thought this was a look, but then I still hated it because I don't like skirts with pants, but then they're sometimes looks. And then I thought this was cute, so I went along with that, and then I switched her shoes to some orange ones, just to highlight more of the orange. And... <laughs> I don't know, they're blue. I guess I can't remember. <laughs> her hairstyle is more of like a half up, half down with curly. And I thought it was super cute. <laughs> like, The Sims... And since I last played it, they kind of upped their game. There's a lot more stuff in there, and I thought it was really nice. I didn't do much for her... What's it called? Her makeup look with the running thing? With the exercise thing? Because she's pretty... She has nice skin anyway. It doesn't really matter in the end. But, um... Who wears makeup while they run anyway? You're just gonna sweat it off and then it just can get in your eyes and be sweating a lot and then that's uncomfortable. So I went with like an eyeliner and a small lipstick or lip gloss. And next, after that, I went to her face and then I gave her some makeup too. I don't know if I went more extravagant with this one or if I just keep kept it simple. Sim simple. I think I kept it simple, but it wouldn't make sense because it's a party outfit. And if it's party, a party outfit, then you can want to go as like extravagant as possible. And I think now that I'm looking at it, I use the same color size as I did in the formal. So I might have to go back there and look at it. But maybe I should try to venture out towards more wild colors and stuff. And then I went with this cute bathing suit. <laughs> I just wanted to see how those would look. And 
Next, I'm going to change her hair. I don't know. I think I put it in a braid. What's it called? I think I put it in a ponytail, but then I don't know how many ponies. I think there's the second one. And then you have the hot outfit. I don't know what I put her in here. I think it was some jeans. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So it was an all denim outfit. I used the newest pack, the um, Eco Lifestyle one. I used those jeans and then I went to another shirt and I thought, okay, that would look cute. But then I was like, you know what would look nice? All denim. Because who doesn't like all denim? A lot of people. But I just thought it would look nice. And then I saw this and I was like, oh, that's so cute. So I made it a darker blue in the end just so that it would come off better. And it would look more like the shirt. And then now she's gonna put on some simple sneakers. I think I went with like the off-brand Sim Adidas. No, I went with these. Um, the off-brand Converse. And I thought I would wear like a white shoe just to not take away from the all denim. Her shorts, I think, would be the main attraction. And then I just liked how everything went together. I put socks on her. Because every time I make a sim, I seem to forget the socks. Mm -hmm. And next, I think those shoes are mods. So I'm going to have to change that to some non modded shoes. And here's that dress I was talking to you guys about in the Busted to Adjusted thing. I really do like it. I thought it was cute. It was like. How do I say country cute? I live in a country, but I don't see people wear that. But it looks nice. I think it reminds me. It looks like something people would wear back in like an old time. Just of how it looks. But who knows? Some people might like it. I didn't do much for it. I just picked a, like a random already made outfit thing. And then I put her on some shoes. Then I went back through to make sure the hairstyles were different. I put her in some that I put her in some what do you call them? Well she has like some hair strands in the front and then it's like tied in the back. Hmm. And that's pretty much it. And then I put her under the sorry center center simmer and hashtag evil sorry simmer. And then I saw that it was modded and I didn't understand why and I think it's because of the shoes. So I'm probably going to go back in there and fix that tomorrow. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, um, this tutorial on how I made Park Bora. I think I said that right. I hope I said that right. Um, so, sorry, not Park, Song Bora. But I hope you guys have a nice day. Thank you for watching my video. And I hope to see you again in two days with another Final Fantasy playthrough. Anyway, bye guys. Make sure you like and subscribe down below. And comment too.